Today we're going to talk about thrifted finds in my recent Denver trip. I kind of made it a mission to find thrifted items and not shop at any like new stores. I do have a couple of items that I want to show you and yes, let's get started. We found this one is by J. Crew, and I think it's a solid white tee. This was $18. As you can tell, it's pretty oversized on me and that's exactly how I like my button ups. I love to wear them with a bodysuit on the bottom and just opened up sort of like a jacket to throw on but you could definitely dress it up for fall with a turtleneck on the bottom you could just leave it like this kind of just oversized maybe even pull up the sleeves this one's 100 percent cotton it's a basic staple in everybody's closet so yeah it's not much else to say about this but i really love it it's so crispy white i i really like it this is the shirt I started the video off with. I really love this one. I think it's my favorite of the whole trip. I love that it's not necessarily a long sleeve. It's kind of like a three-quarter sleeve. But there's something I really love about button up. I think it just will go really good with everything in my closet. From blue jeans, maybe leather pants. It just goes with everything. So I found this one at Goldmine Vintage. They had a mix of vintage and new stuff and it was like pretty well priced. It wasn't like terribly expensive. A lot of the ones that we went to were like top prices. And yeah, it was kind of like the last shop that we stopped at and then I saw the shirt and I really liked it. So finding the perfect Levi's is absolutely like the hardest thing. You basically have to try them on even if they're your correct waist size. You just have to get a feel for the fit. I have been able to find a couple great ones on Depop, but on this trip, I really wanted to find a pair, just, just to try it on physically. So when I found these Levi's, I basically tried on everything that they had on more or less my waist size, and I kind of went with this one. They're um, somewhat of a baggier fit. 501s, but they're 17501 501s. There's um, a couple of vintage Levi's that have like different numeric codes they fit me great on the waist and they are baggier you can definitely see there's a lot of room here yeah i think somebody tried to dye them and the tag has gotten a lot darker and yeah i could definitely fold them but i don't really want to i think i appreciate this fit quite a bit a little bit of a baggier mom jean if you could say the wash is not 100% black. It's a faded black. It's kind of like a gray, like a charcoal gray. And I didn't have pants this wash, so I just got them. I really, really enjoy them. They just have this lived-in feel. They are button fly because all 501s are button fly, and that's really what I love about them. I prefer a button fly over a zip fly. Zip flies tend to be a lot tighter on this area here. Yeah, it is just a new addition to my jeans collection. I'm really happy that I found them. Alright, so this was a Goodwill find. Um, you can still see it has the price on it. They were $6.99 and the brand is Kenneth Cole New York. I really, really love a pointy heel and they're a really dark brown, almost black. So I really love them. I love that it's a little kitten heel. They feel comfortable enough. When you have a really tall heel, it's just really hard to kind of like walk on them and wear them all night. You really get rid of them really, really quick. Really cool find for $7. I mean, you cannot beat this. On Goodwill, I found a lot of bags. <laughs> I was actually about to leave and my mom was like, but did you check the bag area? I'm like, there's no bag area. And then when I went to the bag area, I found so many gems. This one actually, I think it's my favorite. This one was $10.99. I still haven't even taken off this price tag. This is actually a Gap bag that my mom had when I was younger and I saw it, I immediately recognized it. She had it in more of a nude color, more of like the color of my shirt. But this one is great. It's definitely going to be a go-to tote bag. It fits so much stuff in here. And I just love the way the buckle looks on it. It's very in right now. I don't know how to describe it. This is a really amazing find. Such a good find. I'm obsessed with this bag. This tiny little bag, when I saw it, I immediately loved it. I got it initially to gift it to my mom, but... I might just stay with it. It's so cute. Kind of like a small little pouch. It's from the brand Nine West. And I love that it's black. I love that it's small. It's a perfect going out at night bag. It has a leather trim and then a leather handle. 
make it. This one is a Kate Spade bag that I found also for $10.99. So I really love that it's also like a small shoulder bag and um, it's definitely more of a night out kind of bag. I mean, you could definitely wear it for daytime, but I think it gives a more of a sophisticated nighttime look. It has really cool details here on the side. So definitely I wouldn't wear this with this shirt necessarily, maybe with an all black outfit. I love that it has a white strap. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Thank you. So I'm switching up my earrings because I did thrift these on the same spot where I got the jeans, which is thrift cult. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but these are silver earrings and I just absolutely love the shape that they have. They are gonna give my looks more of a nighttime look. I usually just keep it simple with hoops during the daytime, but I think these are gonna be so cute for going out at night or any special events. I've been trying to do my silver collection for my jewelry and um, I found these and I absolutely love them, so I got them. So this is not clothing items, but it is we found Pamela Anderson's first Playboy cover. Um, it's completely covered, so I think this is good to show on YouTube. I think this is great for just decoration in general around your house. I love vintage Playboys. This one in particular is from October 1989, and it used to cost $4. It cost me $10 and it's obviously super iconic. It's Pamela Anderson. She's having a moment again. She's modeling for heaven and for my Jacobs. I saw her, so we love Pam Anderson. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and if you want to see more like them or what was your favorite item that I found. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.